to do. Jenks, dude, I love your YouTube channel. I love playing with you, dude. It was great to actually like see you in game, dude. I watched like a shit ton of your videos. Enemy infantry. Yeah. Oh, I got nine bang. Oh, fucking. Oh, shit. Okay. I got him. <laughs> Yeah, so what did you guys think about that beginning part? That first two minutes. What did you guys think about that? Honest opinions. Comment section down below. Please tell me what you thought. I've always wanted to get into editing and like doing stuff like that. And I've never been good at it. You know, I, when I first started doing YouTube, that's where I went. Like if you go back like 2015, 2016, you'll see a bunch of really cringy horribly edited like just oh, god awful videos okay god awful but i kept going with it because even though i was that bad like i genuinely enjoyed doing it it's so satisfying when you see the finished product even if it's awful you just stand back you're like you know what i did that that's kind of cool it's it's a learning experience right <laughs> i was i was mad stoked like what let me put it this way I always do, I, I edit, in quotations, edit all my own videos, but when my channel started doing really well with the Overwatch videos, everybody just wanted gameplay, full gameplay, you know, very, very simple, it was just cut and, cut and paste basically, like it was as simple as simple could get. So I never really learned anything, which is awful for me, because like this is, I want to learn it, right? And... I think it's time for me to start putting a lot more effort into the videos, even if it's just, you know, a couple minutes or whatever, every every video or every couple videos, just something like that, and then maybe, you know, down the road I can do a big montage or something, something that I can do all myself. Uh, I'm sure you guys know, well maybe you don't, I I'm not sure, but most of your favorite YouTubers, your bi the biggest ones out there, right, like they pay somebody to edit videos for them, right? Not all of them, most of them. and. I see why they do it. It's not easy. If you wanna, if you wanna stay consistent, like me playing Call of Duty and trying to get footage for a video, like I could be playing all day, and sometimes I could get enough footage for three days. Some days I don't get nothing, nothing that I think is upload worthy, right? So it's it's very difficult. And on top of that, if you're spending entire days editing your videos, like oh my god. Mad respect to anybody out there that edits their own videos, like, heavily, and uploads consistently. It's very difficult, but I think it's time for me to start doing that. I don't have my own editor. I'm not going to get an editor. I want to do this all myself. I want to learn. It's time to actually become a YouTuber. I want to do it. It's going to happen. So, I want your guys' opinions, though. What do you think about all that? Like, that whole getting fancy with editing and stuff like that? Even... I guess I shouldn't say fancy because technically it's not really that fancy. It's pretty simple as far as editing standards go, but to me it's fancy, okay? It's not just cut and paste, trim and split clips, right? Like it's, there's way more to it. It takes way longer, but I think, I, I personally think it's cool. I dig it. I love watching videos like that. I think it's really sweet. Um, 
I also want to talk about a few other things, okay? Because I get asked a ton about this. I have gotten thousands of comments on my other Call of Duty videos, you know, collectively, obviously, uh, about joining organizations, Call of Duty orgs, FaZe, Optic, 100 Thieves. I've gotten so many people asking whether I would, if I am. I mean, my... my in-game emblem, my custom emblem is a hundred these logo. I made that logo because I'm a big Nate Shot fan. I've always watched Nate Shot, you know, when I was little, and I watch him now that I'm older. I'm a big Nate Shot fan, and I, I sport the whole hundred thieves thing. I think it's dope, but no, I'm not in a hundred thieves. I'm not. Would I? Absolutely, crazy not to, but I'm not. And as far as the phase thing goes, because I mean, as soon as somebody sees, you know, a quick scoper in Call of Duty, a sniper in general, whatever, the first thing that comes to their mind is, are you in phase? You know, like that's that's always been the thing. In every single Call of Duty, phase has been the sniping clan, right? Like you get into that org, you're known as one of the best. And I grew up watching all these guys, like. Face Jev is probably one of my biggest inspirations. Like as far as YouTube and you know what 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 he does with his channel is very inspirational and something that I strive to get. And then you got guys like Pomage who, you know, I spent a long time watching Pomage when he was an optic, but in you know, back in the day he was in phase, then moved to optic, and now he's in phase again, which is pretty crazy to me. Good for him. But you know, he's the GOAT. And Growing up watching him and I'm like, bro, like, I want to snipe like this guy. He's a maniac. Like, he just puts on a clinic. Like, it's ridiculous. So, I'll, I would love to, you know, work with that guy. Like, that would be insane, obviously. I remember watching Pomage back in the day when he was in Optic and Sprat was in phase and they were, they were, they were always dueled together and it was dope, man. Like, that was cool. I like that. I, it's kind of funny they did the old flipperoo now because I mean Sprat's in optic and now Pomaj is back in phase. That's kind of funny. <laughs> it's funny how that worked out But like honestly though on a real note, I dig all the phase guys like Kitty super dope laid back love watching his videos. I like his his chill demeanor, right? Like he's calm and collective. That's dope to me Testy super dope dude, but you know like all the guys, man. I don't know. I'm not gonna sit here and name them all. I, I I fuck with them all heavy. They're they're good people, and they're insane at the game. I I I would like to think that I could keep up. I'm I can snipe. I can play the game, right? It's just you gotta. If I were to join, right? Like I gotta really make a name for myself. So for those of you that are asking, no, I'm not in any organization whatsoever. But would I? Absolutely. In a heartbeat. I mean, like I said, I watched all these guys growing up. I mean, not all of them, I guess. Mainly, mainly Pomage and Jev, as far as FaZe goes. Uh, I watched those guys like crazy. Jev, Jev is one of the biggest inspirations for my channel. Like, that's why I don't just upload like crazy gameplay. Like, I don't want to just upload crazy gameplay. Like, I want to be able to talk with you guys and have a conversation like I, I love what he does with his channel it's it's just inspirational man like the dude the dude's got it down he's super super good person love it uh, but yeah no I would uh, I would definitely definitely join phase it's kind of funny I mean I got into uh, I got into probably 15 games of phase dirty with and against like on my team and on the other team and I was actually gonna upload one of the games I almost had a nuke and I didn't. If I had, if I got the nuke, I was gonna, but I didn't get it, so I didn't want to upload it. Just you know, oh look, Jenks is uploading because there's a phase guy, and I didn't want to do that. I wasn't gonna go there. If I got the nuke though, absolutely, that shit was going on YouTube, lickety split. Um, but yeah, no, I, I feel like Dirty should know my name by now. I feel like he should. That man's been in like 15 of my games. I bet you, I bet you that he knows my name. There's no way he does it. Uh, and I, I was popping every game man every game we played and he was on my team or on the other team I was handling business. I feel like he should know my name <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he doesn't. I don't know. It's whatever But 
Anyways, guys, thank you for, for watching. I cut out all the live commentary. Future videos, I want to do live commentary. It feels more real. But I cut out all the live comms so I could talk over it like this with you guys for this one. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments about that editing stuff at the beginning. And I'll see you on the next video.